Welcome guys. My name is Darius Newsom. Today I'm going to be going behind an effect I did for the One Piece hood piece, One Piece film, short film, cinematic thing. I'm going to show you how I did two effects and those effects are going to be, it's going to be the hockey blast and then the jump. Hey bro. And we're just going to go over those quick effects and I'm going to show you pretty much how I did them and the software I use and it's pretty simple. The hockey blast which is pretty much in one piece people with conquerors hockey is pretty much they have a spirit of a king and it, and it pretty much makes people pass out and it shoots a big wave of hockey and I'll show you a clip of it right here. So this is how I tried to impersonate it. So of course I dressed up as Luffy. As you can see the hockey blast occurs right in this frame right here. And it's really simple. So let's go ahead and break it down. So. I'm gonna drag this over. And this is the raw clip. Not impactful at all, not moving, just me hitting my hand. What I did was I made a cut where my fist and my hand collide. And then I made an endpoint and I cut it there. So now I have this little section that I can add the effect on. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this effect that I found on um, Ryan Nagel's uh, effects on YouTube. He's a YouTuber who makes different effects for Final Cut Pro. Um, so it's called a chromatic what is it called? The chromatic something. I don't know. Chromatic distortion. I think that's what it's called. Maybe I can find it over here. All right, here we go. And I believe the one I used was the custom. Yeah, it was the custom shockwave. So I'm going to drag that over to the clip. So now, if you look at it now, you can see the effect is in place. But that's boring. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to drag over some sound effects. So I already have sound prepped for this. The hockey, the hockey sound effect from One Piece. Uh, I got that from YouTube and I just searched it up, downloaded it. And I, to download it, I used this website to download an MP3 file. Okay, so we're just gonna play it back. So here we go, we're gonna play it back. Now you can make that effect as long as you want it to go. I just trimmed it down for the tutorial. Let's we'll start with the feet jump. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go ahead and scrub through the footage <clears throat> and find where I jumped and made contact with the ground and import that into my timeline. Now, so. Should be right here. All right. Now we're gonna put that on the timeline. Hit E, 
Now it'll drop it on a timeline. And this is the raw footage. And we'll trim that end part out. So in order to achieve this, when you're actually recording, you want to record. I had to, well, I had to record myself jumping into the frame multiple times to get it right. So it took a few tries, but eventually I got it right. So I'm going to look for the point. I'm going to make a cut point where I make impact with the ground. So I'm going to say right there, command B. And that makes a cut. And then I'm going to find a point where to end it. Command B again. Actually, I forgot to, hold on. Lower down the audio from the actual raw clip because we don't need it. So now we're gonna go to our effects tab. And we're gonna type in earthquake. You can just type in earth, that should pop it up. Hold on. Okay, there it is. We're gonna drag that over the, the frame that we want to have the effect. So if you look at it now, it's gonna be it has an earthquake effect. Now I, I increase, I had to add exaggeration to me stomping onto the grass. I went over here and I increased the amount of shake that was shown. And you can just mess around with where the, where you want to center this at. So, so I wanted it to be exaggerated, but realistic at the same time. Semi-realistic, semi-exaggerated. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna drop it down just a little bit. We'll do that. So next, to make it have effect, I'm gonna drop in the bass, uh, the vine, what does it say? The bass singing slasher! Vine, the bass drop vine boom sound effect. So, when I did this, that helps sell the effect. It gives like it gives impact to the effect. So I'm so I'm just right now I'm scrubbing and looking through where I wanted to start at. So I'm gonna say right here. Cut out the stuff I don't need. And I think since my impact starts right about here. I'm gonna drop, drag this over. Now I'm gonna play that back. And I'm gonna trim this down. Cause that's a little bit too, too much, too long. All right, so play it back again. Now we got some stuff on it that we don't need. Cut the rest of it out. And that's that's the effect. That's how we did the impact landing effect. Now if we play this back, so this is the effect. So this is what we get, the whole clip. Now, we'll spice it up a little bit. Let's add some music. I also got this from YouTube. Uh, it's called the One Piece. Uh, uh, what, I can't read today, I guess. One Piece Epic Battle Theme Remix. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna drop that underneath the whole timeline. Shorten this up a little bit. 
We're just gonna, and I just pretty much what I did was I just chose a part where to start uh, the edit from. So, so hold on. You can go up here actually. Listen to the music. So, and then you hit Q. Now we're gonna drag the audio clip that's underneath on over. Listen to it. trim it and what I like to do is is the music is a little bit too loud so I'm gonna lower it down just a little bit so now I'm play back see how it sounds we'll increase this a little bit and like I say you can play around with this however you feel like it the original where is it at It has these black bars. You pretty much have to add an adjustment layer. So you, so I go in here, grab this adjustment layer, which isn't native to Final Cut Pro. You have to go in and download it. Um, it's a plugin. So, and what the adjustment layer does is, any effect you put on the adjustment layer affects every layer under, underneath it. So it will affect all the clips. So if you change the color, the saturation, anything on it. It'll help save time, pretty much. That's what it does. So, so I just drag it right here, or right here. I think that works. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a animated letterbox, um, cause that's what I did to get that effect. I'm gonna drag that op the adjustment layer. Did I not drag it over? Hold on. Okay, there we go. So now you got these black bars. And it's animated, so it'll close in and close out for you, but I don't want that, so I'm gonna uncheck these boxes, and I'm gonna play back the clip. And there you go, guys. And this is the full clip on full screen. Here we go. Thank you, guys. I'll try to drop more tutorials. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, and thank you guys for your support and goodbye.